Hey guys, it's Jacob from Ages. We published uh, seamless transitions for Premiere Pro. I'll show you how to use them. So, when you, once you download the zip folder, un unzip it, and uh, you'll see something like this. So, first double click on the uh, uh, category you'd like to use. It will open in a project and then just press uh, Control S or save it. It will make sure that um, all the links to footages remain and uh, will work. Then you can close uh, the project. Now you are ready to import it into your project. Make sure uh, these two checkboxes are selected. Press OK. Then you can go inside the folder. Make sure this button is on so you can preview all animations. And once you decide which one you'd like to use, uh, make sure this button is on and make sure once you, you should click on the transition and you will see all these layers. Make sure this uh, layer 1 is off. Uh, it uh, it will uh, it will not import the preview because the preview is on the first layer. And uh, just drag and drop. And it it's it's ready. So your transition applied with sound effects. You can change it. So another question we got uh, how to use transition for different uh, resolutions. You must know that your sequence must match the transition resolution because it won't work otherwise. But it's easy to fix. You open the project, go to change resolution and right click and modify uh, sequence settings and change the resolution let's say you want vertical and just resave it uh, it's file save as and name it maybe like this so now you can import it and, and do the steps we did before like it will um, work with uh, all your video so let me show you some other stuff. Uh, if your video is uh, too large or it's uh, too compressed, uh, Premiere Pro has a hard time previewing it, so you can uh, go to File, um, then go to Project, So once you create a project, go to this uh, settings and turn, turn on this uh, checkbox. Uh, select transcode and uh, select. Uh, you might have move uh, here, so you, you might want to select that. Or if you don't have, select uh, these settings. So what it will do uh, once you import such footage it will open a media encoder and um, it will uh, transcode the footage so it, it will work with your project last part i want to show you uh, styles uh, there's the same styles we have in after effects version so you do the same you open the project save it and then i already did it so um, i'll just import it and it, it works the same. You just drag and drop it uh, on top. Like if your transition was here. And you see it applies uh, the visual effect. So I think that's it for today. Uh, we finally did it and thank you all for the wait.
I hope you enjoy it and it will save you a lot of time. We are working on Premiere Pro plugin right now and I hope it will be available this or next month. So you won't have to do any of these steps, just drag and drop uh, like it works in After Effects version, but it's a good solution for now.